And good evening, my lovely Lost Tales, and welcome back to the Blue Rose Respite for my Friday Night Spice stream. I hope all of you are doing well this evening. Uh, sorry for that slight hiccup uh, at the start of the night. Um, it was a bit of a misclick on my stream deck, but it's all good. Um, <laughs> sorry about that, but hopefully it will be smooth sailing from here on out. So I hope everyone is doing well. Thank you so much for joining me tonight, everyone. Mm -mm. We're just going to be playing some more Dragon Age Inquisition, keeping things very chill, very light. Uh, last time we mostly did companion quests, uh, including finishing Josephine's, making sure that she is safe. And, um, safe and well. And also Worship. taking care of some stuff for Varric, but we need to go first and foremost to the war table to make sure that everyone has done their homework. And yes, Hayden, very good point. I need to start with my joints. Let's get that stretch check out of the way. Good, good, good. Ah, thank you, thank you. Sam will stop. I'm just wearing, like, liquid eyeliner and I've... Because I, I used to uh, wear more like liquid eyeliner to work and stuff and then I kind of stopped doing it um, during lockdown and so... Have you had any trouble with them? Ooh. Not at all. I will inform you if that changes. Good. 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 Um, so it's just kind of been going through a phase uh, this week of... I draw like my valaseline on my face for my streams what else can i draw on my face with this so i finally found a tutorial for doing a nice like winged eyeliner um if you have hooded eyes like i do and so you might see this look a little bit more often maybe maybe <laughs> all right alliances getting things moving while i do not trust them we have at least gained the interest of the de Rosiers. The initial declarations against us seem to have fallen by the wayside as more traditional deciders of power have come into play. Except the report. Oh, one moment, everyone, sorry. Just need to fix something. Sorry about that. Alright, true successor in Leeds. Sister Liliana, I understand that I have you to thank for the sudden arrival of proof of Jean Gaspard's heritage. The Grey Warden's love poems were most convincing, although his decision to rhyme falling with calling was less so. Regardless, Jean Gaspard has lost all claim to the douchey. Um, Monette wishes no ill for her uncle and has asked that he and his men loyal to him rejoin, uh, sorry, join the Inquisition. With luck, Jean Gaspard might regain the deeds, the honor he no longer ha make, sorry, Jean Gaspard might regain in deeds the honor that he no longer may claim through blood. The young Duchess herself is quite aware that she has you to thank for her position, and she has pledged the city of Leeds to the Inquisition's cause. Yours in gratitude, Mother Renette. Good, good, good. Truth or dare, Lake Celestine. Madam Ambassador, I would be honoured to accept your invitation. I shall make arrangements to pay the Inquisition a visit presently, as I have been most curious to see your organisation for myself. Sincerely, Comte Renard de Moyer. Mm. My Kaiju, that's fantastic. I really hope it goes well. Do, do, do. Alrighty. Um, homework. Uh, I'm just going to quickly check my quests, uh, because I think there was some ones that we had to send out for, like, companion quests. Let me just check. Uh, Memories of the Grey, I need to get around to doing that. Uh, this is more taking care of business in different areas. Oh, that's what we were going to do, speak with Cullen about that. So, it doesn't seem that we have any specific stuff actually unless there's one for the main quest speak with the advisors of the war table in skyhold that's for like going on to the next main uh next plot beat and i think we still need to muster a bit more power before we do that oh salva holder thankfully um uh i everyone was like keeping their cameras off and it was only optional if you wanted to have your cameras on for like work meetings uh via zoom so i i was lucky that i got to just like stay in my comfy hoodie uh while doing meetings from home hey sherp how's it going 
All right, let's see what looks interesting. Okay, here lies the abyss. We have 29 power. We could do this. What's the level recommendation? 12 to 15. Let's do some other ones first, and then maybe we'll do that tonight. We'll do uh, lies in the abyss as like the next main one. Uh, is there anything that we need to do? Judgment, the magic used in Redcliffe. Alexius has been put to work as a magical researcher of the Inquisition. The spell he used in Redcliffe was incredibly complex. Even he doesn't understand all the theory behind it. When he has confessed, it was only possible to cast because the breaches thinned the veil. Alexius can look into application of the theory for safer use. Alexius has been given all the books and equipment he requires. Let us see if he will prove useful. Inquisitor. Let's have a look then. Um, doo -doo -doo. Is there anything in Ferelden that I can send you guys to do? I think this one was again... Was it mostly Liliana? Yeah, it was mostly Liliana. Damn it. Okay. Uh, this one feels like a... Again, a Liliana one. Um. God damn it. All them, everyone wants to talk to Liliana. Okay, this one's good. Well, that settles it. We face a darkspawn magister who commands something that looks suspiciously like an archdemon. I defy anyone who tells me there is no blight. We have black walls for treaties and we have cause. Status will require little persuasion. Information and conscripts are well uh, well enough in Custo, but gold secures these things and more. Let us begin. Okay, thanks. This week's been one of my best ones yet. I managed to get a PS5 a few days ago. That's fantastic. I really hope you're enjoying it. And we need to find something for Cullen to do. Pursuit for them through the mountains. That sounds promising. Mm. I might actually send Cullen... Like, Liliana gets this one done faster, but this sounds like something Cullen could be good in. Commander, we were able to uncover information on the routes the Red Templars used in the Frost Packs. How shall we proceed from Lieutenant Kestrel? Set up an ambush. We could block them path while archers lie in wait above. Yep, let's send you off to do that one. To work. Alrighty. So let's have a quick word with Cullen and see if we can take care of this Samson problem, maybe. Okay, and what level am I, actually? Okay, I'm level 15, so I am strong enough to do the next main, uh, main quest. But I just want to make sure that like, we've done a couple of the companion stuff first, before we advance the story much further. And that's me. Solus, how are you, sweetie? I don't think we've spoken in a while. Then on. I'd like to hear more about what you saw in your exploration of the Fade. I would be happy to share it with you. Hmm. Tell me about some old memories. Tell me about the old memories you found in the Fade. I saw a dwarf emerge into the light of day and shield his eyes against the sun. The first time he had seen it, the tears were streaming from his eyes. I sought them from the blazing light until I saw the rock he held so tightly. Then he laid the rock down gently and he left it as he walked away. Tell me about the old ruins you explored. I found an ancient dwarven tide no longer sheltered by the stone. An earthquake had exposed it all to daylight. A thousand dwarven corpses lay, the victims of the dark spawn horde. Their last stand marked by one great ring of armor. In the middle, one small body, clutching tightly to a small stuffed toy. We'll talk later. Dareth Shiral. Dareth Shiral. Yeah, that's a. Solus, do you want to go for a walk sometime? You, I think you've been locked up a bit too long. You need some fresh air, sweetie. Cullen? We have him, Inquisitor. We found Samson's lair. Hell yes. My duties usually keep me here, but for Samson, I'll make an exception. It'll be good to have you. I'm looking forward to fighting by your side, Commander. Likewise, Inquisitor. We'll depart at your leave. Travel to Samson's camp at the Shrine of Dumat. We can do that. Whereabouts is that? Ah, uh, there we are. 
Samson is using the bodies of people to grow red lyrium and possesses powerful armor crafted from the crystals. Through Samson's armor, though Samson's armor seems impenetrable, there must be some way to weaken him. Let's go. And let us take. Let's take the OG trio. Let's take Cassandra, Varric, and Solace. Varric knows a great deal about Red Lyrium, so his insights should be interesting. This is it. The heart of Samson's command. I don't see him anywhere. Or hear him. Nor I. Maker, tell me he hasn't fled. Oh. That that whole thing's gonna look so nice, just covered in red Templar blood. Or crystal shards, or whatever it is they bleed. Oh, and there's a fuck ton of them. Not for much longer, though. Because I am here. Just you being sneaky up there. Not having any of that shit. You're fine. I do love just that massive green fist that just comes bursting out of nowhere and knocks them on their feet. Cassandra, just still being badass extraordinaire. Good, good. More stuff for more research. Oh, there's one over there. I should probably help with that. There we go. And there's a few more up there. <laughs> come on down. Your time has come. <laughs> Murder. Murder. Come on, come on, come on. Playing my Inquisitor is the one that would have like light banter in during combat and uh, just to kind of lighten the mood and make things seem less dire. So I imagine her standing next to Solus while they're in the middle of a fight and she's being like, you know, you look rather majestic when, you know, you're killing hordes and hordes of Red Templars. And he's like, Mother Nun, would you please concentrate on the battle at hand? Our allies' lives are at stake. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm doing that. Oh, fuck. We're not gonna be having it not having any of that today. He just does that little side smile of just she, she's growing on me. She's growing on me. Like not she's not full chaos goblin, but she's just trying to lighten the mood a little bit as best she can. Given the dire situation. <laughs> Come 
on, guys. Almost got him. Almost. Like, why do you think one of her favorite people to travel with is Dorian? He's just so funny and witty. And such a sweetheart. I think, like, the longer she's around and the longer she's the Inquisitor, and for some reason is still alive despite everything, um, the whole Herald of Andraste thing just slowly goes away because people get to know what she's actually like, and it kind of eases off the whole mystical quality about her, like, oh, the Herald of Andraste, in her infinite wisdom. You're right. Still, we've dealt Samson a blow. All right, let's have a look. Um, hmm. Seems more knights are that way, but more behemoths are down here. We should probably take care of those first. Oh, we have our first pick my voice of the evening. Okay, Steph, you're enjoying this battle way too much. I request Lady Blackfael's voice because she enjoys the carnage. Oh, darling. It's good to be back. I hope all of you repugnant monkey have been behaving yourselves in my absence. seeing these crystal encrusted pathetic little mortals scurrying about is adorable isn't it <laughs> don't mind me I'm just helping myself to the spoils of war while you battle on my behalf you've got this Doing fine, dear. Now, chat, I do have to ask have you been behaving yourselves? Because I do hope you're not giving me a reason to get creative now, are you? <laughs> Well, you're a brave one, little elf. Facing off against a behemoth, a horror all on your own. I have to say, the elves in this universe seem a lot more breakable. far removed from the magnificent splendor of my kin. Oh no, this is interesting. Fire is such a useful tool after all. <laughs> and I don't know, Gigash, it might make for some interesting combinations. He's fine. A little bit of pain will steal his resolve after all. Oh, 
Oh dear, that poor little soul was on fire. Hmm. Too bad he burned out so easily. Could have prolonged that just a little bit more. It would have been very amusing. <laughs> Oh, I do see something interesting over here. What's that? Oh, that looks like fun. A corrupting rune, you say? I could think of some interesting ways to use that. Oh, now this looks dramatic. The decor is interesting, though. Though I have some notes. Hello, Inquisitor. You know me? It's Maddox, Samson's Tranquil. Something's wrong. I'll send for the healers. That would be a waste, Knight Captain Cullen. I drank my entire supply of Blightcap Essence. It won't be long now. That does sound agonizing, doesn't it? Are you in pain? I was at first. Not anymore. I destroyed the camp with fire. We all agreed it was best. Our deaths ensured Samson had time to escape. You threw your lives away? For Samson? Why? Samson saved me even before he needed me. He gave me purpose again. I... wanted to help. should check the camp. Maddox may have missed something. Hmm. That death was there disappointing. Here. Could have been drawn out a little bit longer, some more coughing and spluttering and pleading, but... Oh well. Lyrium bottles. Licked clean. Resistance must be extraordinary. Anything else interesting around here? Oh, Cullen, do you have something to say? A dismal place to die. It can't have been much of a place to live either under Samson's command. We can't leave Maddox here. He should be properly laid to rest. I'll have someone take care of it. If even Samson did his best for Maddox, we can do no less. Is there anything in the camp that could help, or mm. point us to Samson? It's hard to tell. All I see is smoke and ash. If this is Samson's idea of remaking the world, I prefer yours. I'll keep looking around. Oh, Jen, I did want to ask you a question, my lady. I was listening to three chances, chances on cold case stories. Cold open stories, I believe. And could have sworn I heard your voice. Well, you might have heard me in the background a little bit. I did some additional voices uh, for that particular tale. <laughs> what can I say? The team behind that series has excellent taste. But I think that comes to the end of that particular Pick My Voice. Thank you so much, Jen, for requesting Lady Blackfael. I haven't played her in a long time, or I haven't voiced her in a really long time. And, oh, she just has such a delicious way of talking. This must have been Maddox's room. The fire couldn't destroy these entirely. They are implements for working Lyrium safely. The craftsmanship is remarkable. Tranquil often design their own tools. Maddox used these to make Samson's armor. She could use them to unmake it. We have him. Hell yes. Alright. Uh, let's head back out to the front then. Before this whole place collapses. Oh, Cullen, do you want to say something? Yes, Inquisitor. What else do you remember about Samson? 
the man he used to be. Does it matter? He used to be kind, only carries so far. Yet Maddox died to help him escape. Samson does command loyalty. I'll keep looking around. All right, let's head back to Skyhold then. Like, I actually kind of needed that a little bit, just because, like, um, because I don't make not safe work content on my Patreon or anything like that, even though, um, when I released the first ASMR tale with Glasha, my mwah, beautiful orc warrior, um, there are a couple of people who are asking, so, so where's the not safe for work version? Because the way that it does end implies that there's a part two, so to speak, um, and so I was like, I'm sorry guys, I don't make not safe for work content, but I but I know my voice is really well suited for it. <laughs> but I'm just not comfortable making it. But I'm really glad that you guys enjoy Lady Fleck Thayal and some of my other sp spicier characters, let's say. Because on, on occasion I'll just like wander around my flat while I'm like making my morning coffee and then I'll just like let out something and I'm like... Worship. It's a shame that I can't use this. <laughs> and it'll be something kind of dumb, like I'll just be wandering around and I just like, I look down at my coffee and then I'm just like, we'll say something dumb like, oh chat, you're being so good for me. And I'm like, and then I'm just like, what? I have to get back to work, what the fuck's wrong with me? <laughs> Thank you, Jen. I appreciate that, cause, like, it, cause I kn I know that I would do pretty good if I made not safe for work content, but I I don't know. It, it's just something I'm not comfortable with. Hi, Colin. The red lyrium deposits are being destroyed, and we've cut the red templars down to the core. It's a pity Maddox thought his sacrifice was the only answer. That leaves Samson with a severely curtailed army and enchanted army he can't maintain. Mm. You did it. We did it, Cullen. We both fought to make this happen. Don't sell yourself short. Well, I thank you, but my work's not done yet. We're getting recruits by the hour. There's more than a few ex-Templars among them. We've struck a blow and given people hope. This is a true victory. Inquisitor, I finished it. Are you talking? Sorry have it anyhow hi Dagna you mean this room it's not just any rune I made it with red lyrium and what's left of poor Maddox's tools the rune acts on the median fissures of lyrium to it'll destroy Samson's armor he'll be powerless we'll cut Corypheus off from his most powerful officer Maddox covered Samson's tracks thoroughly but wherever Samson's retreated we'll find him your army stands ready Inquisitor for Samson, for Corypheus, for whatever you command. Hell yes. I think we might even like start tonight out with finishing this quest up for Cullen. Like, what's the next step in that? Is that... Or is that completed, that quest? Or is there something more you want to say, Cullen? Ah, cutscene. Perfect. Hi, I forgot something. I left it on your desk. Oh, hi, Colin. What's up? Of the Inquisition, you. There's something I must tell you. Whatever it is, I'm willing to listen. Right. Thank you. Lyrium grants Templars our abilities, but it controls us as well. Those cut off suffer. Some go mad, others die. We have secured a reliable source of lyrium for the Templars here. But I no longer take it. You stopped? When I joined the Inquisition. It's been months now. Why are you doing this? After what happened in Kirkwall, I couldn't. I will not be bound to the Order or that life any longer. Whatever the suffering, I accept it. But I would not put the Inquisition at risk. I have asked Cassandra to watch me. If my ability to lead is compromised, I will be relieved from duty. I respect your decision. Thank you for telling me. 
I respect what you're doing. Thank you, Inquisitor. The Inquisition's army must always take priority. Should anything happen, I will defer to Cassandra's judgment. And thanks for that, chat. I really, really do appreciate it. Like, because I, I never want to make content that I feel like obligated or pressured into making. And so it really does mean a lot to me that you guys are like happy for, because a lot of my ASMR tales, they like, they fade to black for lack of a better term, which is what I prefer to do. Like, it just gives enough that it entices the imagination and you get to just have it as a starting point to um let your imagination run wild as it were Worship. without me having to go into <clears throat> explicit detail as to what happens next i do wish i had more opportunities to utilize my sultry voice though well that's what makes it fun because i just get to occasionally throw a complete curveball at you guys <laughs> and send you sw spinning <laughs> And I will not apologize for that. <laughs> yeah, I was just seeing if I could empty my pockets of any unneeded valuables, but... Okay, unfinished business. That's more stuff that we can just kind of do over the course of our explorations. Uh, I'm just going to drop off some stuff for research and maybe have a quick chat with Liliana, actually. Let's just see if there's anything else that she wants to do. Oh, thanks so much, guys. Like a false bolt in the face. <laughs> you know what? Yes, that 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 feels accurate. Or it's just like you'll be listening to my streams or like watching my streams, uh, just keeping it chill, keeping it casual, and then you'll just hear me say something like out of uh, nowhere, and you're like, "Reports of fate so she said what? and demons keep coming. The people are terrified, and it's only getting worse. The only thing that will calm their fears now is the hope that someone out there can save them. You have to be that someone. No one else has any power over the rifts. Seal them." Your legend will spread, and Thedas will learn to trust the Inquisition. In Redcliffe, you sacrificed yourself so that I could return here. Of course I did. One small life in exchange for a second chance at history. I always loved a bargain. It was still a sacrifice, and still noble. And I would do it again. Lillian is so good. They called you the left hand of the Divine. That they did. What of it? I'd like to hear about Justinia. What was she like? A friend. A mentor. Like me, she had secrets. Made mistakes. It made her human. I think her followers responded to that. How did you and Justinia meet? I met her a long time ago, before she became divine, before she was Justinia. When I met her, she was Mother Dorothea. I was at my lowest, mm. broken, lost. And she saved me. No, no, wait. <laughs> she hates it when I say that. I saved myself. She just showed me it was possible. We'll talk more later. Okay, I was hoping that maybe we get like a cutscene in the start of a quest, but I guess not. Hi, Solus. Bye, Solus. That never gets old. Um, hmm. So we're definitely strong enough. Why don't we go into the next main quest? Salva holder, like that curveball that uh, stroke to the face, followed by the pixie giggle that I do. It's almost as though my inner fay is coming out. <laughs> I imagine maybe after a time, like 
after you keep jumping off the balcony, like after talking to Dorian and then Liana, um, Solus just like has a pillow at the ready and he's um and he just kinda hears like conversation happening above, he just kinda kicks the pillow in into position and you drop down, he's like, Mother Nun, Mother Nun, do you go off? <laughs> All right, here lies the abyss. Adamant Fortress has withstood countless Darkspawn attacks without falling. The Grey Wardens defending its walls are legendary warriors. To prevent Warden Commander Claro from ra raising an army of demons, Inquisition forces will need siege engines powerful enough to breach Adamant's defenses. Adamant Fortress has stood against the Darkspawn since the time of the Second Blight. Fortunately for us, that means it was built before the age of modern siege equipment. A good trebuchet will do major damage to those ancient walls. Hell yeah. Thanks to our Lady Ambassador. Lady Cyril of Jader was pleased to lend the Inquisition her saddles. They've already delivered the trebuchets. That is the good news. And the bad news? Aramond called the ritual at the Western Approach a test. He may already be raising his army of demons in the fortress. Mm. The Inquisition forces can breach the gate. But if the Wardens already have their demons... I found records of Adamant's construction. There are choke points we can use to limit the field of battle. That's good. We may not be able to defeat them outright. But if we cut off reinforcements, we can carve you a path to Warden Commander Clarell. Taking this fortress is going to get a lot of good soldiers killed. Our soldiers know the risks, Inquisitor. And they know what they're fighting for. It'll be hard fought, no way around it. But we'll get that gate open. It's also possible that some wardens may be sympathetic to our cause. The warriors may be willing to listen to reason, though I doubt they will turn against Clorel directly. The mages, however, are slaves to Corypheus. They will fight to the death. We've built the siege engines and readied our forces, Inquisitor. Give the word, and we march on adamant. Hell yes. Also, thank you so much, Samuel. Um, it's actually not a lipstick. It's a lip balm from MAC. Um, it's one that came out uh, a few seasons ago. I bought it because it has like this... I'm not sure if you can see it. It has like this beautiful cherry blossom uh, design on the container. And it's just like a nice kind of pinkish red um, uh, lip balm. Kind of a light, much like a lighter lipstick with a little bit of shimmer in it. And I really like it as a kind of everyday look. All right. Here lies the abyss, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I already read that out, so let us go. Oh, Hayden, tonight I am drinking some Smokehead and it is very, very good. All right, um, I have to take coal, solace, and iron ball. Hell yes. Mm -mm. It's a nice looking knife. This is a knife. Oh shit, we're like a proper army now. Fuck yes. I mean, oh no. I'm sorry. Okay, that battering battering ram is really cool. Stop throwing rocks at my army! God damn it! Like I'm walking in like the badass that I am. Fuck yeah, we got this, guys. Oh, 
Oh, we also have Hulk and Stroud with us as well. Even better. Pull back! They're through! All right, Inquisitor. You have your way in. Best make use of it. We'll keep the main host of demons occupied for as long as we can. I'll be fine. Just keep the men safe. We'll do what we have to, Inquisitor. Warden Stroud will guard your back. Hawk is with our soldiers on the battlements. He's assisting them until you arrive. Mm. There's too much resistance on the walls. Our men on the ladders can't get a foothold. If you can clear out the enemies on the battlements, we'll cover your advance. I can do that. Guys, with me, we got this. You're fine, Solus. I mean, I don't know if people are dying. It wasn't even that good. Oh well. I suppose I should go do my job and help clear the battlements. Inscription upon a trebuchet stone. In flowing formal script. All who walk in the sight of the maker are one. An addendum underneath it, painted quickly and sloppily. Stick this in your taint, blighty. They're already starting to turn. God damn it, Solus! Help me! There we go. Oh my god, Solus! Help me! I don't know why I keep dying. Is it, keep I don't. Distance. Lay down your weapons and surrender. Never. Wardens, attack! Wardens, oh, attack! back off. Well, we tried. I am very squishy. I'm a mage. I should remember that. I'm a very squishy mage. Okay, that's useful. Um, well, let's clear the rest of these battlements, shall we? I will say, the design of this fortress is very cool. I really like the architecture. 
It kind of reminds me a little bit of a... I'm not sure if it could be classified as a citadel or a palace. Um, but there was a beautiful uh, fortress that was in Granada, I believe, in Spain that I got to visit. And not quite the same architecture, but a similar sort of thing where it was... Um, uh, built with very um, interesting sensibilities, whereas much more about the architecture and very minimalist art. And it was a similar thing where it was like open air, lots of uh, sandstone and lighter stone. It was very, very beautiful. You should have iron book over here. I forget that I'm a very squishy and small elf. I am a delicate little flower that's capable of tearing open um, the fade. I need to remember that I am small and squish. Um, I'm sure if you search for it, um, it I believe it was in Granada uh, in Spain. And it's like one of the biggest uh, attractions in that city. Beautiful city. I haven't been back in a very, very long time. Good. I'll get right on that. Alhambra de Granada. That was it. The Alhambra. Um, I thought it was the Alhambra, but I didn't want to say it was, just in case I was wrong. But yes, that was it. And it is beautiful. And yes, um, it was uh, very much uh, inspired by um, Middle Eastern sensibilities in architecture and art. Um, so in a lot of Middle Eastern art, I'm not sure if it's a regional thing, like if it's more prevalent in Iran or Saudi Arabia. Um, but you'll find a lot of art, it's more about geometric patterns um, and less about depicting the human form, which is why you get those beautiful mosaics with beautiful intricate tiles in um, usually depicting uh, things like the stars or vast, uh, not scenery scapes, but more like a reflection of an, of an inter interpretation of um, uh, the divine. And it, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a very beautiful palace. You can see the blend of Islamic and Mediterranean styles. Absolutely. It is gorgeous there. And once I'm able to travel a little bit more, um, I would love to visit it again. I would love to visit it with my family, because when I got to visit it, I was with my, uh, with my mum. Oh, fuck off. It's another fucking fry demon. Take care of the despair demon quickly because they can fuck you up. Okay, good. Come on, guys, we got this. It's just one pride demon. We got this, it's fine. 
Oh, fuck off. No, stop coming towards me. Stop coming towards me, guys. And guys, you've got enough health potions. Just remember to fucking use them. Oh my god. We have more than enough fucking health potions. I swear by all of the gods. Okay. Take care of him, Solas. I'm getting the others. There we go. Call. I am small and squish. Okay, almost. Almost. Come on. There we go. Come on, Solas, we've got this. Come on, come on, come on. I would love to visit my sister in Sicily. That place is gorgeous. Absolutely. I've never been to Sicily myself, but it looks beautiful. I thought your men could use some help up here. Good work. Stay with my forces and see that they survive this. I'll keep the demons off them as best I can. Good. We got this, guys. But if there's a place where I can refuel my potions, that would also be wonderful. An unsigned letter. Do the mages seem different to you? Ever since they began summoning those demons, they don't talk to the rest of us. Have you been picked for one of the secret assignments yet? I can't imagine what they need us for if the mages can summon demons. But Jenna and Kemet disappeared last night, last week, right after the ritual started, and nobody knows where they've gone. Stay ready. I'm not sure if it's sa it's safe to talk anymore. No. All right, but some people have leveled up. Cole, you're good. Solace, you're good. And Iron Ball, you're good. Can I save? Okay. I'm just going to save quickly. Just because that was a very close call with that last fight. And... I want to refuel my potions. Please. Okay, hang on. Let me just check something. Okay, yes, I think there's one more section on the battlements we need to clear first. Okay. Potions first, guys. Here we go. I'm squishy. I'm squishy. 
Come on. Nushwan, uh, sorry, I'll try to pronounce that. Uh, Nushwanson Stein Castle in Germany is the only castle I've ever visited, but you undoubtedly should visit it if you have the chance. The place is uh, referred to as the Fairy Tale Castle and totally lives up to the hype. Yes, I've always wanted to visit it. Um, I've never actually been to Germany before, but I would love to go. Like last year I wanted to try and visit uh, Vienna, but travel plans kind of fell through because lockdown and all that. But now that things are moving forward and things are getting better, I'm really, really excited to start traveling again. Internationally, I mean. Okay. We're already doing better than last time, so there's that. <laughs> Guys, Solus is fine, he's got this. There we go. They can come up safely now. We must hurry. Our forces cannot stand against the demons for long. Okay, good, good, good. Just give me a second, guys. I've got loot to grab. Is there something over here? A letter from Ward and Commander Clarel. Magister Eremond, I am not an untutored apprentice. The Grey Warden mages who left the circle just uh, after the harrowing might take your explanations at face value, but I am an enchanter before I join the Grey Wardens. That the sacrifices of the death are necessary to bind the demons, I grant you. You know more of such things than I, and I make no judgment upon it. But the manner of my mages still binding the demons is still un since binding the demons is still unsettling. They answer my questions readily, but the words are spoken by rote, and several of the non-majors have complained that their comrades seem cold and unfeeling since the ritual. Some of that is natural, I grant you. One cannot kill a brother and come away unchanged. But if there is more, than, more to this, I will have it from you. The Inquisition pressures us, pressures us to action. Continue the rituals. If we must destroy them before we venture into the deep roads, so be it. But do not lie to me, Eremond. Er I stand against the blight, and no man, no Inquisitor, and no Magister will get in my way. Clarel. Well, Clarel, it seems that we will have words. Tactical Tinkerbell, thank you so much. Like, it would be an absolute dream to be in the uh, in a Dragon Age game. Maybe even as a romance option, maybe? That would be amazing. Honestly, that's one of my dream goals, to be a voice in a game like this. Like, a featured voice for a character that everyone just loves or loves to hate. Especially if your character is a villain. Oh my god, yes. Either like a villain or like a romance option that's like an anti-hero. Like rough around the edges, which is still for for anyways. Complicated. It has a good heart. I think the only request I would have is like, please, um, if I'm gonna voice a character, is can you please have it as a romance option? Otherwise my fans will fucking riot. <laughs> 
Jesus. And it's like, no, we're gonna give you the Varric, uh, Varric treatment. God damn it. I mean, I'm honored to be featured in this game series, because I love it so much, but... Oh no. Fear of Drew. Oh my god, let's manifest that. Everyone, think together. Happy thoughts. Stephanie Tobin, voicing a female canary romance option. Hell yes, I'm a badass. Uh, so I should probably take a potion. I'm good. I'm perfect. I'm always perfect. And hey, Ice Spartacus, how's it going? Dragon Age could use some enemies to lovers' appreciation. I agree. I agree. Oh, Tactical Tinkerbell or something in the 40k universe. Like, okay, not gonna lie. Um, if, uh, because I think someone voiced Slanesh in a trailer, but I would love if Slanesh was a featured antagonist or antagonistic force in a game. Can I please voice them? Please? Warden, we are betrayed by the very world we have sworn to protect. The Inquisition is inside, Clarel. We have no time to stand on ceremony. These men and women are giving their lives, Magister. That might mean little in Tavinta, but for the Wardens, it is a sacred duty. Are you ready, Jaina? Oh. I came to save people from the blight. And so you shall, child. Fuck. Mm. Stop them! We must complete the ritual! Clarell, if you complete that ritual, you're doing exactly what Eremon wants. What? Fighting the blight? Keeping the world safe from dark spawn? Who wouldn't want that? And yes, the ritual requires blood sacrifice. Hate me for that if you must, but do not hate the wardens for doing their duty. We make the sacrifices no one else will. Our warriors die proudly for a world that will never thank them. And then your Tevinter ally binds the mages to Corypheus. Corypheus? But he's dead. These people will say anything to shake your confidence, Corel. Listen to me. Bring it through. No. No, stop that. Stop that. Come on, guys. Can't we all just get along? Please, I have seen more than my share of blood magic. It is never worth the cost. I trained half of you myself. Do not make me kill you to stop this madness. Be ready with the ritual, Clarell. This demon is truly worthy of your strength. The Grey Wardens have a proud history. You stopped the blight at the Silent Plains, at Starkhaven and Hunterfell, at Aesley and Denerim. This world owes you a debt it can never repay. I would not stand against you if I did not know you were being misused. Oh? Uh, Clarell? Come on. Clarell, we have come so far. You're the only one who can do this. Perhaps we could test the truth of these charges to avoid more bloodshed. Or perhaps I should bring in a more reliable ally. Oh, fuck off. My master thought you might come here, Inquisitor. He sent me this to welcome you. What? 
Oh, fuck off. No. 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 Time to kill a dragon, baby. Oh no. Oh no. Help the Inquisitor. Oh, thank God for that. That avoided pretty much most of that fight. Fuck yes. Also, Sith Marauden, thank you so much for the follow. You are now one of my lovely lost tales, and you're welcome at the Blue Respite anytime. And we have a fucking dragon flying overhead as we're trying to defeat a pride demon. This is fine. This is fine. Although we did have uh, a pick my voice from Samwell asking, what will my audition for Slanesh be? That is a very good question. Let me think of something. It probably is something similar to my uh, Lady Black Veil voice, um, because I agree that um, Slanesh doesn't have any uh, specific gender, so it would probably be lots of different voices from different voice actors layered on top of each other. But for me, if I was doing like the feminine aspect uh, of the voice, maybe it'd be something along the lines of... Look at you. So abundant in your depravity. Do you have any idea just how satisfying you can be? <laughs> but of course, you always have more to give. And I intend to take every last piece of you. <laughs> so maybe something along those lines. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just in a silly goofy mood tonight. <laughs> Okay, can I close that first? Maybe? Ah! I know they can tell I love pride demons, and so that's why they sent me one gift wrap for me. Oh, I'll take it that you guys like that little audition for the role of Slanesh. Who knows? Who knows what lies ahead in the future? I might have the incredible opportunity to be in the Warhammer 40k universe in an official capacity. Where the fuck's the rail gone? Okay, I think they've gone up this way. Imagine if Mark Hamill would voice the Nash going Joker up in there. <laughs> oh, that would be so cool. Stephanie will not be satisfied until she caused a heart causes a heart attack amongst her fans. Oh, maybe not a heart attack. I want you to all to live, but maybe 
succumbing to incoherent babbling and a delicious flustered mess. Now that, I think, is much more agreeable. <laughs> I don't know, what do you think? Is it weird that I can see Mark Hamill voicing Siege? Or is that just me? Oh, fuck off, dragon. Go away, dragon. Okay, I'm just gonna say it, uh, Jen, for the voice of corn, uh, Travis Willingham. Just, just a suggestion. You, you've destroyed the Grey Wardens. Oh fuck, she's a rift mage. That's cool. Did that to yourself, you stupid bitch. All I did was dangle a little power before your eyes, and you couldn't wait to get your hands bloody. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh. Oh, she's dead. She's very dead. Yeah. Although, I don't know, guys. Maybe she's like, hey. Oh, she's still kicking. Uh, Ironwall, I'm surprised you're not charging at this thing. Oh fuck. Come on guys, time to run. Time to run. Oh my god, and yes, I would love to be in a project with Talos and Jaffe. You have no idea how much I admire that man. That beautiful, strange, eldritch soul. Oh my god, I love him so much. Um, but this isn't good. This does not look good. Oh. Oh, piss. Where are we? Well, we're not in Kansas. And this doesn't look like Oz. Is this... Are we dead? No. This is the fade. Oh, shit. The Inquisitor opened a rift. We came through. And survived. I never thought I would ever find myself here physically. Look, the Black City, almost close enough to touch. Uh, 
This must be very exciting for you, Solus. Any advice you have on what exactly is going on would be wonderful. Cole, how does it feel to oh, be back no, home? Oh no, Cole! I, I, I can't be here. Not like this. Not like me. It's all right. We'll make it right. This place is wrong. I made myself forget when I made myself real. But I, I know it wasn't like this. Oh. It's not how I remember the Fade, either. Perhaps it's because we're here, physically, instead of just dreaming. The stories say you walked out of the Fade at Haven. Was it like this? I don't know. I still can't remember what happened the last time I did this. Well, whatever happened at Haven, we can't assume we're safe now. That huge demon was right on the other side of that rift Eremond was using. And there could be others. Ah, oh, this is shitty. <laughs> I'll fight whatever you give me, boss. But nobody said nothing about getting dragged through the ass end of Demon Town. In our world, the rift the demons came through was nearby. In the main hall. Can we escape the same way? Hmm. Sounds like our best option. There. Let's go. Okay, but to be fair, if you had the opportunity to walk on, like, vertical surfaces, wouldn't you do it? You'd have some fun with that before, the, like, having to get serious again. This is fascinating. It is not the area I would have chosen, of course. To physically walk within the Fade. Oh, yeah. This must be a dream come true for your crazy ass. Yes. Literally. Solus, you're the expert on this place. Anything helpful? The fade is shaped by intent and emotion. Remain focused, and it will lead you where you wish to go. The demon that controls this area is extremely powerful. Some variety of fear, I would guess. I suggest you remain wary of its manipulations, and prepare for what is certain to be a fascinating well, I look forward to many fascinating experiences with you, Solus. And thank you so, so much, Gigosh, for your Prime subscription. I really, really appreciate it. It's wonderful to know that you're having a good time with us at the Blue Rose Respite. And thank you so much for your support. Oh, a perfect time to do my stretch check, Hayden. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, that was getting a bit stiff, so good to loosen everything up before we continue. Oh, well, this looks Let's interesting. Let's look around. Okay, this is a little side quest, but honestly, this area is so interesting to me. I'm very curious. Fears of the Dreamers. The Pilgrim. I came to the Temple of Sacred Ashes with the Faithful, ready to help with the Conclave. I prayed to the Maker for peace, but the mountains shook and fell and buried me. Alone in the darkness, my legs crushed. I cried in fear of a world with no Maker, fading in and out of dreams of monsters inside the black. Light my final hours. Let me go to the Maker without the terrors of darkness confounding me. All right. We lit that one's way. Let's have a little bit of a look around before we How charge on ahead. Something catch your eye, Solus? Like, to be fair, this is a once-in-a-lifetime experience uh, for many people. Um, because usually their lifetimes end uh, if they go into the Fade. So I imagine, like, it's understandable that Solus is kind of, like, geeking out a little bit. Okay, hastily written note. A letter by a burning candle. Make it give me strength. When the darkspawn came to Denerim, I wept so hard that I could not see. But still, I fought for you. When demons poured from the sky where the Temple of Sacred Ashes used to stand, my hands shook so badly that I could not aim my bow. But still, I fought for you. When Corypheus and his archdemon destroyed Haven and killed my friends, I screamed until I had no voice. But still, I fought for you. They are sending me to attack Adamant. They say that the fortress is defended by an army of demons, but the odd and the odds are grim. We cannot win with, uh, but our distraction, our sacrifice, may give the imported people the chance to do what is necessary. 
My stomach is knotted and I see dead friends from old battles reaching out for me every time I close my eyes. I'm so afraid, Maker, but still, I will fight for you. Anonymous. Oh. Okay, before we go up the very ominous stairs, let's have a bit more of a look around. And Vool is just over here like, oh, fuck this. I did not sign up for this shit. I don't get paid enough for this. Ooh. That looks interesting. What are these mirrors called again? I know there's a specific name for them. They're not just magic mirrors. Like in this universe, they have a very specific word for them. Ooh. Walking the Fade, Frozen Moments. I once studied the Fade as a scholar, dissecting it as a child might a rat or a frog. I was young and craved the power conquering the Fade could bring. I tried in vain to chart its paths. And when that failed, I attempted to secure them. In my arrogance, I struggled against the Fade's very nature. How does one pin down a dream? How can one control a thought so that it might travel always the same course from conception to completion? Only when I let go of my desires and humbled myself was, fa was the Fade open to me. The spirits came and took it upon themselves to be my guides, my lanterns in the darkness. At their command, the paths grew still, and I could walk them again and again. I was shown vast oceans, containing not water, but memories, drawn from the minds of dreamers. I drifted through frozen moments like paintings, perfect in every detail. As I explored this impossible realm, the spirits kept darker things at bay. I came to trust them, even love them, and I saw my own love reflected in them. To know the Fade, one cannot seek to master it. The Fade is the master, the teacher. We are merely apprentices. Writings of Magister Callistus of uh, Taravan, known to some as Callistus the Fade Touched. Interesting. Meanwhile, like, Solus is looking over at this, like, amateur. I'll oh, take it, Jen. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Oh. Hello. By the Maker. Could that be? I greet you, Warden. And you, Champion. Divine Justinia. Back at Haven, I saw... I thought I saw... How can you be here? She's not. I fear we face a spirit. Or a demon. You think my survival impossible? Yet, here you stand alive, in the Fade, yourselves. In truth, proving my existence either way would require time we do not have. Surely you can understand our concerns, and explain what you are. I am here to help you. You do not remember what happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes, Inquisitor. No, I don't. The memories you have lost were taken by the demon that serves Corypheus. It is the nightmare you forget upon waking. It feeds off memories of fear and darkness, growing fat upon the terror. The false calling that terrified the Wardens into making such grave mistakes? It's work. I would gladly avenge the insult this nightmare dealt my brethren. You will have your chance, brave warden. This place of darkness is its lair. Can you help us get out of the Fade? That is why I found you. When you entered the Fade at Heaven, the demon took a part of you. Before you do anything else, you must recover it. Can These do. These are your memories, Inquisitor. Oh. 
Yeah, guys, um, there's some I would prefer if, you know, we just walked past, we, we just ignored. Please. Please don't judge me if we're going to go on an existential soul search. Everything. Bring forth the sacrifice. Run where you can, warn them. What's going on here? Oh no. Oh no. Wait, the Grey Wardens did this? Oh fuck. Why are you doing this? You of all people. Keep the sacrifice still. Oh, Corypheus, you bastard. Someone, help me! What's going on here? Oh, shit. So, um, I touched the shiny thing and uh, blew up uh, so your mark everything. Oh no. Drasty. It came from the orb Corypheus used in his ritual. Corypheus intended to rip open the veil, use the anchor to enter the Fade, and throw open the doors of the Black City. Not for the old gods, but for himself. When you disrupted his plan, the orb bestowed the anchor upon you instead. I never thought Andraste did this. I did this myself, through my actions. No maker required. And now you may be certain. You cannot escape the lair of the Nightmare until you regain all that it took from you. You have recovered some of yourself, but now it knows you are here. You must make haste. I will prepare the way ahead. Something troubles you, Hall. Those were Grey Wardens holding the Divine in that vision. Their actions led to her death. I assumed he had taken their minds, as you have seen him do before. Come, we can argue after we escape this dark place. Oh, I intend to. Okay, you I... believe it was really her? Oh. The Divine. We have survived in the Fade physically. Perhaps she did as well. Or... If it is a spirit that identifies so strongly with Justinia, that it believes it is her, how can we say it is not? She seems interested in helping us. That much is clear. That's great and all, but the nightmare is the thing currently scaring the shit out of me. <laughs> it's nothing like me. I make people forget to help them. It eats their fears. I, I don't know if I could do that, but I don't. I don't want to. Oh. That's not me. He's cold. None of us mistake you for the Nightmare. Oh. It is a fear demon, as I suspected. Likely drawing on terrors related to the Blight. Fear is a very old, very strong feeling. It predates love, pride, compassion, every emotion. Save perhaps desire. Be wary. The Nightmare will do anything in its power to weaken our resolve. After what it did to my fellow Wardens, I pray we find some way to strike it down. Help me, us. Sorry, I just wanted to wait until everyone had their say before we continue, because I can see a fight up ahead. And yeah, like, I think it's like one of those reflexive impulses, like, um, if you suddenly hear behind you, hey, or something like that, and then you instantly go and turn and look, 
it's like the same thing with someone throwing something at you. Your like impulse is to catch it or to block it. So, yeah, we we touch the orb of power, and that's why we have the anchor. Oh no. But I will say, the one thing that surprises me is um, we didn't get like limited a limited edition collectible or something like that. That was like a glass blown replica of the orb. Um, like made out of a dark green glass with like maybe some uh, gold leaf on the inside. That was on like a nice kind of uh, a claw like stand or something like that. Because I'm, I'm sure there's a fan out there who's made that because of course you get people who make amazing like 3D printed stuff. But honestly, wouldn't that be so cool to have, if you're like a, a diehard Dragon Age fan, as a collectible item, like a glass replica of the orb with like a really cool stand. Not necessarily looking like Corypheus's hand, but something like a cool like iron looking pedestal or something. Oh, it'd be so cool. A letter written in a shaking hand. Son, by the time you read this, the Darkspawn poison will have claimed me. We gave it all its dark haven, and we brought time for the wardens to slay the archdemon. But when I smelled the corrupt in my wound, corruption in my wound, I knew I would not live to see you again. Furious will want uh, men to search the battlefield. He sees Starkhaven as rising to greatness, and the weapon of a hundred dead grey wardens lying unclaimed on the ground will help him conquer the free marchers. You must refuse. The battlefield is soaked in poison, and no speech, no bullying, no taunts about cowardice can change that. Anything that roams that battlefield now will die. Store him however you must, and watch for the crows. Those birds have the good sense to fear the blight. When you see them gather, then you will know that the poison is gone, and it is safe to search the battlefield for trinkets to satisfy Furus. I will not be here to guide you, son, so you must learn from the crows. They watch patiently, and they let their fear keep them alive. Please, I beg you, watch for the crows and do the same, Sora. I'm just gonna save quickly because I'm because this area is especially very graphics heavy so I'm worried of like about any glitches or anything like that oh perfect time for a hydrate check and a stretch check thank you Slanchley mm -mm. and yes you take care Slanchley Carmina thank you so much for joining us tonight and thank you for the stretch and the hydrate check have a great weekend We have a visitor. Some silly little girl comes to steal the fear I can be lifted from her shoulders. Hmm. You should have thanked me and left your fear where it lay, forgotten. Give me you a think the pain will make you stronger? What fool filled your mind with such drivel? The only one who grows stronger from your fears is me. But you are a guest here in my home. So by all means, let me return what you have forgotten. Anyone else thinking his voice is kind of... guess this nightmare wasn't such hot shit after all. Hmm. These are but minor servants of a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, Chad, at least I'm so glad I'm not the only one who was just like... But that voice, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let, let me focus. The Claws of Doomheart. <clears throat> Master unveiled a new altar. It stands higher than a man like a great statue, and great spikes strut out from its length. <laughs> Hungry for blood. Master calls it the Claw of Doomheart, and says that the altar will help bring Tevinter to glory. I praised it, as was expected, and Master smiles. It was good to see him smile again. He has been fearful of late, vexed by the loss of followers. He has met with the other priests, and in secret, I have heard them discussing ways to return the people of Tevinta to the ways of the old gods, as is only just. He spoke to me later in the day and asked that I call him Corypheus, as it was the name he would take for himself after a ritual. Master, now Corypheus told me that my people, the elves of old, were tied to the Fade, and that in order to carry out the will of Dumat, he would need to call upon the magic that lives in our blood. Gryphius told me to gather all the elven servants and bring them to the western hall of our home at midnight. That is the hall where the claw of Dumat is now kept. There are shackles all across the top of the great altar, the walls lined with runes beneath the claws. 
I have sent my wife and children away, but have not warned the others. A few I may save. If I tried to save us all, we would only be killed in some other way, and others would die in our place. Master once laughed and joked. He could be stern, but he was not a cruel man. The weakening of the Templars brought fear into his heart, and that fear has changed him. The cuts upon his arms are deeper and longer, where he used his blood magic more often. He speaks to his wife little. He listens only to the voices in his dreams. It is almost midnight. The claw of Dumart, great and spiked and merciless, is all my mind can see. I must gather the others. My family is safe. Corypheus will take me, but not those I love. Words somehow preserved in blood at the statue's Just face. Just let me have this moment to hope, all right? Ooh, another fear to help with? Okay, I see those cold showers. Fine, I will try to keep a level head when that voice appears, okay? I will try. I can't promise anything, of course, but I will try. But... It's just nice to know I'm not alone. It has that very uh, enemies to lovers sort of tone, and it's very distracting. Fears of the dreamers, the freeholder. I watched the blight take my land. I had nowhere to go. I tended the fields as I had, even as my flock died and my family sickened. My body racked by pains and chills. I saw too late the poison that had crept into the land. In my fever dreams, the sickness covered this whole world, and I wept in fear for the family I killed with my foolish pride. Show me that this world survives. Show me that the poison does not take everything. Place the flowers. Let's keep going. Oh no! Scarlet's not here, guys! to try to put me in my place I'm trying not to give in to the voice I'm trying I'm trying so desperately and I know that probably the body that's attached to that voice is a really creepy Looking son of a son of a gun, but appearances can be deceiving. There. Ah, evil spiders. Okay, before we continue that way, let's. Okay. Down there looks like a continuation. Let's look up here first. Anything useful? Uh, let me just check the map quickly. Because I just want to check. Okay, it is in a general that way direction. It doesn't seem that there's any difference if we take the high road or the low road. I just like being thorough, so I'll look around What's everywhere. This? Except from a journal. They think they own us, think they decide whether we live or die. They sit there smug in their armor, ready to cut off our heads for the slightest transgression. As though we don't strive every day to stay sane, to keep the demons away. They can't control us any longer. I won't go back to the circle, not ever. I thought about it last night, being back in the tower their eyes on me, and all of it came back. All the years, head down, don't clench your fingers, be a good mage, be a quiet mage. And I realized I don't want to make peace with the Templars. I want them to burn. I want it so badly that the bed caught fire and wouldn't go out until Ivan iced it all over. It's still there inside me. I want them to feel the fear they made me feel. I want them to know what it's like. We're leaving for the Conclave in a few hours. If those bastards so much as blink the wrong way, I'll let them see what an apostate looks like. From the Journal of an Unknown Mage. Aha. 
Perhaps I should be afraid, facing the most powerful members of the Inquisition. <laughs> the Kunari will make a lovely host for one of my minions. Or maybe I will ride his body myself. I'd like to see you try. <laughs> I have no response to that. Chat? Do with that what you will? <laughs> I didn't have to say a fucking thing. Rosa, don't even joke about that. Iron Bull with that voice. Like, Iron Bull's voice is already mwah, amazing. Could, could you imagine him just like slowly like backing you into a corner as like his eyes turn dark and red and he's just like you know you've always fascinated me inquisitor and after leaving the fade i picked up a few stragglers along the way and you're over there just like you utter bastard i should kill you when i have a chance and now I'm just writing, writing, writing fat fiction in my head. God damn it. <laughs> oh no, more demons. Are you afraid, Ko? I can help you forget. Just like you help other people. We're so very much alike, you and I. No. Oh. Okay, you won't hurt the good boy. You won't hurt my boy. Your fight is with me, a strange, disembodied voice. You've seen into my heart. Or at least you claim to. What makes you think I'm afraid? Do with me what you will, but do not hurt my companions. Besides, I know I'd make for much more entertaining sports. Dirth ma herelan, ma banal in asalin, marsolas in a martin. Bonal nadas. Oh. Was that a little back chat? Okay, that was a few things we did, so I'm just gonna save. Hmm. Iron Bull kicks down Crow Visitor's door. The fuck did you say about me? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> Except from a journal. I went to Devinter when I was a child. I remember dragon statues everywhere, big ones. I shivered as I walked between them, afraid they were going to bite me or breathe fire. My parents hushed me and told me the magisters liked the dragons as a sign of their power. Dragons are beasts, mindless, terrible. The archdemon that comes with each blight is an offense to the maker. We know all these things, but the magisters don't care. And it is the same with the mages. So much danger, so much power in hands not ready for it. And the mages only wish to celebrate themselves. The magisters are what the mages of Ferelden and Orle want to be. Our rulers, holding us in terror so that we wonder if they will bite as we walk by them. If they will bite as we walk by them. I joined the Templars to keep such mages under control. I have killed many since the rebellion we all saw coming. Now the Divine wishes us to meet them in the Conclave and give them a chance to make peace. I will go. I will smile. If the dragon statue looks ready to bite, I will strike first. I am not a child, and I will not be afraid. From the journal of an unnamed Templar. I am not simping- Did you think you mattered, Hawk? Did you think anything you ever did mattered? You couldn't even save your city. How could you expect to strike down a god? You're a failure, and your family died knowing it. Of course, a fear demon would know where to hurt his most. 
We must ignore it. Oh, I'm yeah, I'm ignoring it. I'm trying so hard Those to ignore were it. Pieces, tiny manifestations spawned from the nightmare itself, and they take the form of spiders. Something so many fear. You saw spiders. <sighs> spiders would have been a massive improvement from what I saw. Remember, we walk in the fade. Demons of fear shape their appearance to unnerve each of us. In elegant script, you are too young to worry so, my child. Write your worries down here. All your fears are smaller once you have defined them. Listed in a child's shaky hand. What if Darkspawn come back? Father says one day he'll die. Darkspawn underground, Darkspawn under our house, Darkspawn coming up from the basement. The sun will die. Black bits on bread could be blight. Getting sick and dying from blight. Grey Warden's coming to make father go back. Father dying fighting black Darkspawn. Dark patch on father's arm as yet then he hides from mother. Father says he hears music. From a letter lying near a cluster well, of spider eggs. I was rolling my eyes, guys, because the voice cut me off and I got distracted, okay? I'm not... Okay? <laughs> Nightmare is closer now. It knows you seek escape. With each moment, it grows stronger. Oh my. We have a pick my voice from Samwell. You guys are feeling indulgent tonight. What if the Sapphire Queen started to whisper in our ears too? <laughs> Unless, well... I'm more than happy to oblige. <laughs> Although I have to say I'm much more in favor of the material thing. This place makes little sense and I find it irritating. Oh, the elf is fine. He's made of strong <laughs> Well, that was over quickly. Mm. Well. As one who resides in a desert, I know a thing or two about mortals and their thirst, shall we say. But come now, behave yourselves, lest you make me angry. The demons! The Grey Warden. I joined the Wardens to serve in glory. No blade could touch me, nor any claw pierce my armor. Still, I was fated by joining to die. Alone in the deep roads, the calling in my mind. I sat by the campfire I would see, allowing myself one last night of terror, and cursed the fate that brought me here. Let it be my choice to have served then and died. Let it be nobility rather than the dread hand of fate. Destroy my destiny and let this be my decision. Well, it's curious, isn't it? Keep running. Ah! Let's find that lost soul's favor, shall we? A note left by a burning candle. Lunette. The temple, sorry. The breach is sealed and the war between the Templars and the Mages is finally over. All our fears and terror is finally ending as order returns to this world. I wish you could see the people celebrating at Haven. It is everything you would have wanted when you left for the Conclave. I will make your sacrifice a worthy one. What we do here with this fledgling Inquisition will shape all of Thedas. I will make you proud. Your flame will burn forever as a beacon of hope. 
Something is happening. The ground is shaking and the soldiers are running for the gates. Rest well at the Maker's side, my daughter. I will sing your memory again soon. Loved, Elohim. Oh, poor thing. Letter in a child, simple writing. The door is open. Mother said to run. She said the Darkspawn were coming. She wanted me to go. The door is open. It was closed when I left. She said she would be right behind me. She said not to come back, no matter what. The lamps are lit all over the village, even during the day, to see through the smoke. Mother should be here by now. But the door is open. I'm going to look inside. Now, what was it that the soul, this poor lost, simple creature wanted? It should be around here somewhere. Hmm. Let's just make sure that everyone is all healed because those mortals are so beautiful, fragile. And then let's restock, shall we? We need to find a candle that we can bring. Well, let's just recover this memory first in case it's on the other side. This is the bridge back in here. Thank you for the hydro check, That's Hayden. How we, how I escaped. Everyone should stretch. Now's the perfect point. Thank you, Rosen. It was you. They thought it was Andraste sending me from the Fade, but it was the Divine behind me. And then you... She died. Hmm. Yes. So this creature is simply a spirit. I think we all knew that was the case, Warden. I am sorry if I disappoint you. Strange thing. Are you a memory of the Divine? A reflection? If that is the story you wish to tell, it is not a bad one. What we do know is that the mortal Divine perished at the Temple, thanks to the Grey Wardens. As I said, the Grey Wardens responsible for that crime were under the control of Corypheus. We can discuss this further once we return to Adamant. Yes, Adamant, where the Inquisition faces an army of demons raised by the Wardens. How dare you judge us? You tore Clerkwall apart and started the Mage Rebellion. Calm to protect down. innocent mages, not madmen drunk on blood magic. Even without the influence of Corypheus, the Wardens go too far. They need to be checked. Agreed. The Wardens may once have served a greater good, but they are far too dangerous now. The blood sings softly. It never stops, and then it's all they hear. We can't let them hurt more people. Don't know that we can pass judgment on the only folks who know how to stop blights. This debate can wait until we're out of danger. Inquisitor. <laughs> Oh, great. More the ugly spiders. Form up. I'm with you. 
And we have come to the end of that particular Pick My Voice. Thank you so much, Samwell. Uh, hopefully I didn't break, knock your brain too much with all the lovely growls that I love to do with Saitaro. The Sapphire Queen. Come, real or not, the Divine is the key to escaping from the Fae. So where is that candle actually? Should be around here somewhere. Warden Stroud, how must it feel to devote your whole life to the Warden, only to watch them fall? Or worse, to know that you were responsible for their destruction? When the next blight comes, will they curse your name? With the Maker's blessing, we will end this wretched. Yeah, I have to say, as someone who hasn't played Dragon Age 2, um, I can't say, like, one way or the other about Hawk. Um, but I assume that uh, for everyone who has played, seeing this kind of neutral depiction of Hawk is not the best. Hell yes! Good, good, good. That's what I was looking for. And just because we've had a couple of cutscenes and just want to save. Make sure we save. Whispers written in red lyrium. We are here, we have waited, we have slept, we are sundered, we are crippled, we are polluted. We endure, we wait, we have found the dreams again. We will awaken. Have I ever played The Witcher? Um, I have all of The Witcher series. Do you I have not you played it yet. Me? I am your every fear come to life. I am the veiled hand of Corypheus himself. The demon army you fear. I command it. They are bound all through me. Ah, uh, so if we banish you, we banish the demons. Thank you. Every fear come to life. <sighs> oh, I'm looking forward to kicking his ass. Whatever this entity is. Because even though I've played this game a lot in the past, it's been several years since I've played it all the way through. So there's a lot I've forgotten. Especially that voice. Okay, um, I assume if we keep going higher up, then it goes one way. Let's try explore down here first. Just because, like, this is an area you can't go back to. When they were higher. Before it woke up and everything fell. Hmm. The laws of nature in the Fade. It is simple to say that the laws of nature do not apply in the Fade. But while travelling in the Fade, it is often confusing for mages. It is rarely so chaotic as to divide description. In fact, while the placement of items may seem random, those items usually operate as we would expect them to in the real world. A book opens to show pages, although the pages may be blank or lined with gibberish. A pen and inkwell let uh, the user write, though the, uh, the pen may write on its own, and the inkwell never runs dry. Those items that float usually hover in the relative height where they would have sat had the objects meant to support them existed. Candles suspended in the air as though held by a phantom candlestick, for example. Why are the laws of the Maker bent but not fully broken? Why does a book not turn into a dragon or a statue explode into countless shards of energy? The answer, I believe, lies in the fact that the, I the items we see in the Fade were most often made by the hands of men. A statue is a creative thing. The mortal's hand that shaped it gives it purpose, and it knows what it is meant to do. The objects that strain against the laws of nature are, ironically, those that are more natural themselves. Great stones, for example, hang in the sky. 
No hand has ever touched them. No mortal mind shaped them to purpose. I suspect that we may never know that if dwarfs, dwemp, dwarfs dreamt and shaped the Fade with their own perceptions, the rocks would not float. From the shape of the Fade by Enchanter Aphinius Astarathan. Interesting. And I'm just gathering as much of this crystal as possible because it's usually interesting items inside of it and also we can't find it anywhere else. Except in the Fade! Kodiak887, thank you so much for the follow! I hope you're having a good time with us tonight. Feel free to stay as long as you like. I have to say, it is very cool. Like, I like these uh, areas where it is so much more fantastical in its design and uh, really interesting. The water, trying to prey on my deep fear of having wet calves. <laughs> I love you. Waters of the Fade. It is unclear whether the water here is a manifest manifestation of the Fade or physical water that is poured in through one of the rifts somehow. Possibly the rift in Crestwood. Um, I don't believe so, because it makes sense that it would be like, this area would be a place that you travel through and then leave entirely. Although it could be interesting because I have taken the path of the Rift Mage if maybe there was an option to revisit this area another time and there was like uh, a different aspect to it that you could experience maybe with Solus. And it would be uh, him leading you to an unexpected area. The Keepers of Fear. This is, was not a place of honor. Here came beasts from the north, carrying a poison called the Blight. They killed many warriors and sickened the land, and even their blood could curl. We feared them, and it was right. We were strong, but still they came to feed upon our screams. These stones hold the screams of the Almari. Wherever the Sworn of Darkness have come, these stones were raised, so the beasts might take their bounty of fear and depart. If they did not, every man would put his screams into the stone until none were left inside him. Then he would light up the fire to burn the screams away, and take up sword and shield to fight until death came. But all the men were dead, and women did the same, whether it was the tradition of the tribe or not. Then the children, even if they held their fire pit sticks, remember our warning, give the stone your screams, burn them so they cannot master you, and fight. Runes etched near the base of a screaming statue. I will say the statues are really cool and really creepy and the way you can kind of tell that it is a screaming person like the eyes, the face, uh, the mouth, the arms, etc. Oh, they're just unsettling and eerie in all the right ways. Very creepy. Very cool. Um, okay, I'm just going to go to that mirror and then I'm going to go back because there was a whole other upper section that I think we skipped past. And I just want to make sure that I'm exploring this area thoroughly. Illuvian. The name just came to me. Illuvian. That was the name of the these mirrors. I'm an idiot. Um, yes, that's right. Illuvian. That was the name of the mirrors that uh, are used for magical long distance travel. You know what, I imagine Solus does think this area is a wonderful place for a date. There's atmosphere, screams of the damned, and just wonderful talking points that he can feel very smart as that to as that he explains to me. Like, in my brain, 
it's like so much more romantic and interesting because like I'm genuinely fascinated by this area um, and like I imagine the like me playing Shit, as the Inquisitor would be oh you my god Sophia. deny it and it has nothing you won't hurt my friends oh that, that's two pride demons I'm just gonna save quickly Okay, I want them to close together. Okay. Get closer. Closer. Get closer. There we go. One down. Two down, let's go. Kodiak should show up. Uh, sorry, uh, Kodiak says uh, Solus should show up uh, here even when he's not in your party. He's just like, what are you doing here? Because I vaguely remembered that this was the chapter where you do get sucked into the Fade, which was maybe why I wanted to bring Solus and Cole on this. Oh. Oh. Little stuffed animal. Okay. Oh. Okay. I've, I've, got, your, I've got your stuffy. It's okay. Fears of the dreamers, the child. Haven is burned. Mama cries when I'm not looking. It's cold in the mountains and my feet hurt. But Mama says to hush, but others have it worse. She says a monster named Corypheus came to Haven, and it was only the Maker's blessing that let us escape. I don't feel blessed. The monsters come every night when I sleep, and I don't want to wake Mama crying again. I miss her snort. So snort always kept the monsters away in my dreams. There you go. You sleep well, okay? Okay, let's just go across a little bit more and then we'll go down and explore that uh, lower area thoroughly, more thoroughly. Yes. Before we go over that way, let us go down this way and just make sure that we've explored everything in this area thoroughly. Like over here, for example. The Scholar. When the Darkspawn were new, when the Magisters had just brought them to our world with their sin, I was among the first to call myself a Grey Warden and swear to end the blight that threatened our world. We had seen the Archdemon die from mortal blows, only to rise again from the body of one of its servants. It could not die. I searched in vain for some way to kill the beast and save my world. I slept in fear, with no solution, knowing, that o knowing only that the, blight, uh, that the blight the Magisters had brought would destroy everything because I could not save it. Show me what must be done to save the Archdemon. Show me what I need to save my world. Alright. I'll have a look around. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. An Archdemon killing weapon, maybe. Ooh, over there looks interesting. Let's go over there. Get out of my way.
Guys, um, try not to go running into the ocean. I, I know you want to kill the demon, but please don't run into the ocean. We almost got it. Oh. Oh, that's unsettling. Oh my god, it's how all of them fear dying. Solus dying alone. Cole succumbing to despair. Dorian, temptation. Sarah, the nothing. Cassandra, helplessness. Oh, fuck. Blackwall himself. Varric became his parents. Ironball, madness. Vivienne, irrelevance. Oh, gods. Well. At least we found what the spirit wanted, right, guys? Oh, that's lovely, Hayden. That's really nice that you had, like, s stuffed toys to give to the kids. It's really nice. Good, good, good. Okay, now that that's done, I'm just gonna... Oops. Save. Okay, before we uh, do that and we supply, let's just take care of these first. Okay, I think we just have to hold off demons while we wait. No, go away. Go away. I hate fried demons. I hate them so much. There. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. You know, I don't think I've actually done a playthrough with taking Dory into the fade. That would be interesting. Everyone, take another potion. Especially you, Solus. We need you to bring people back from the dead. And we resupply. And let's save quickly. Oh, I have to say, it is very rewarding when I do defeat those pride demons. And yes, I am aware of the irony. Also, guys, um, the other day we hit 1,300 followers on you Twitch. You must get through the rift, Inquisitor. Get through, and then slam it closed with all your strength. That will banish the army of demons and exile this cursed creature to the farthest reaches of the Fae. Oh, and I got all the dreamers. Yay! Essence of perfection. Hell yes.
Okay, another supply cache, but I think we'll... There we go. I'm just going to save again, because I'm paranoid. So yes, guys, uh, we are now at 13k uh, on my Twitch there. channel at the Blue Rose Respite. Don't say it like that. That guarantees another demon is going to show up. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. If you would, please tell Liliana. I am sorry. I failed you. you too. Oh, Stelia? Aspect of the nightmare. Oh, that is badass. You will die in agony. I think he knows. It'll take more than fear to kill me. But of course, you already know that by now. <laughs> Oh, I'm probably gonna get your username wrong, and for that I apologize, but, um, uh, 74th Rocking J, thank you so much. I'm so glad you're able to join us tonight. Uh, don't forget to follow and turn on notifications, uh, so that you get to know when I go live next. And I'm so glad you're able to just to stream tonight. Hell yeah. I grow fat on your fear. Oh, it took a second, and please correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that is 74 in Roman numerals. I could be wrong, though. My Roman numerals are a little bit scratchy. Oh my god, Scar. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 24-month resub. I really, really appreciate it, sweetie. I'm so glad you're able to drop by tonight. Thank you so much. You are nothing. Okay, almost done, almost done. Almost, almost gone. Almost. Come on. Oh. I think we did it, guys. I think we did it.
Oh, you're one ugly fuck. We need to clear a path. Go. I'll cover you. No. No. You were right. The Grey Wardens caused this. A warden must. A warden must help them rebuild. That's your job. Corypheus is mine. Oh fuck. Okay. Um. I'm sorry, Stroud. I'm sorry. Stroud. Inquisitor, it has been an honor. See you, Stroud. For the water. Come on, Quisitor. It's time to run. Time to run. I'm sorry, Stroud. Your sacrifice won't be in vain. I just walk out of the fade like a badass. So I'm the Inquisitor, goddammit. Look at me, Captain Badass over here. She was right. Without the Nightmare to control them, the mages are free. And Corypheus loses his demon army. Though as far as they're all concerned, the Inquisitor broke the spell with the blessing of the Maker. They came out of this alive. As far as I'm concerned, they can tell whatever stories they like. I suppose you're right. Inquisitor, the Archdemon flew off as soon as you disappeared. The Venatori Magister is unconscious but alive. Cullen thought you might wish to deal with him yourself. Yes, please. As for the Wardens, those who weren't corrupted helped us fight the demons. We stand ready to help make up for Clarell's tragic mistake. Where is Stroud? I'm sorry. Warden Stroud died striking a blow against a servant of the Blight. We will honor his sacrifice and remember how he exemplified the ideals of the Grey Wardens, even as Corypheus and his servants tried to destroy you all from within. Inquisitor, we have no one left of any significant rank. What do we do now? Nicole TL, uh, TLR, thank you so much for the follow. You are now one of my lovely Lost Tales, and you're welcome at the Blue Rose Respite anytime. I hope you're having a good time with us tonight. Okay, now the Wardens fucked up. They royally fucked up in this. So. We already have enough manpower. I'm gonna say leave you leave the unfortunate truth is that you're still vulnerable to corypheus without stroud to guide you leaving the wardens unchecked is a risk i'm not willing to take by the authority of the inquisition you are banished from southern thedas hope we don't need them later Hawk will oversee your return to the warden fortress at weishaupt yes your worship your worship i would stay if you allow it and continue our fight. Of course. I have never doubted your loyalty, Blackwall. Also featuring Blackwall for some reason. Um, Good thanks, luck, dude. Inquisitor. It's been an honor. And take care of Varric for me. I will. He's a good egg. I'll take care of him. So that went well, guys. We went to hell and back, and we made it out in one piece. Hawk sent me one final report. He's on his way to Weishaupt. The Grey Wardens are gone as well. Adamant Fortress has been sealed. You dealt Corypheus a significant blow, Inquisitor. We owe much of that to Stroud, and to the Divine. Yes. While you bested Corypheus here and at Halam Shiral, he himself was not present either time. We fear he is close to finding another way to enter the Fade. 
When you have a moment, Colin and Josephine are waiting in the war room with an update. What was she like? Oh. Divine Justinia. Our soul. Or the spirit that took her form. I read your report. I know it isn't clear, but... She seemed calm, serene even, and she guided us the whole way through. Oh. That does sound like her. She did ask me to tell you something, though. She said, I'm sorry, I failed you too. Oh. oh. I should finish this before it slips my mind. Perhaps later we might discuss the matter further. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Firishu, that is a very good question. If it was Alistair instead of Strahd, would you have still chosen Hawk? Um, if it was Alistair in the position of Stroud, I probably would have chosen Hawk to go. Maybe because I haven't played Dragon Age uh, 2. Alright. A fine time to close the border. The news is dire. There are rumours that our warden brothers and sisters in Ferelden would have all perish. Without the Grey Wardens, the blight will take Ferelden. Then it will undoubtedly spread. It will go north to Nevada and the marshes. It will come west to Orle. At the head will be an archdemon, and in its wake will come thousands upon thousands of darkspawn. You must be ready to stare squarely into the eyes of oblivion. Many of you have asked to remain here when such threats are mounting in the east. The problem, you see, is not uh, a new one for us. Politics. It, to say Ferelden or Orle have been at odds is an understatement. These two are like dogs and cats. We wardens are allegiance by address only, but that does not seem to matter in Ferelden's, uh, to Ferelden's leaders. Word is that the king of Ferelden is dead, and his successor, uh, Lokane Maktir, decrees that no ward warden set foot in the country. Maktir, a national hero who helped expel the invading or legion forces from Ferelden, seems to have it out for our order too. Maybe he doubts our abilities. Maybe he is more foolish than his the history books make him out to be. This is why we must wait, even as Ferelden willingly be welcomes its fate. Interesting. But a huge, huge thank you to the Metloid Man for a gifted subscription going to Sheb87. Thank you so, so much. You're amazing. And a huge thank you to Hayden for the gifted subscription going to Samwell. Thank you so, so much, both of you, for your incredible support of my archive of Lovely Lost Tales. Thank you. Oh, you guys are amazing. It's so supportive of each other. It's so sweet. Thanks, guys. Okay, on the condition of your charges. Um, I think I've already read this one. Yeah, I think I've read this one. I wonder, can I talk to Liliana about anything else now? Oh, no. Not at the moment, I think. Um, I might just head to the war room. Oh. I saw this. I saw this. And uh, have a look around and send people on their homework assignments. Um, and then I think I'll save most of the other like big talky stuff for uh, next time. Because uh, I like to break up the big quests with more companion focus quests. But let's just uh, sell off any unnecessary things. And do a quick check of everyone's armor, and then I think I'll send everyone out to go do their homework. And then I might call it a night. Where's Dorian? Because I think... Oh no, you have to be level 16. Never mind. Although... That does fire damage. Uh, fire damage I might give to Solace, actually. Where are you? Yep, because that packs a bit more punch. Archmage Ice Staff, I'm give that to Vivian. And Ooh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh the Bleeder of Souls already does quite good, but I'm gonna give that to you. Shield of the Anointed, that would be better for Cassandra. Or for Blackwall. Yes, good, good. 
Actually, because uh, I'm a sucker for aesthetics, I'll give the Shield of the Anointed to Blackwall. Oh my god, guys! We have a hype train going! Thank you so much, Naikaiju, for the two gifted subs to my incredible archive of lovely lost tales. I really, really appreciate it. Dude, you're amazing! Thank you so much! Um, but yes, we have a hype train going, so if you want to renew your subscriptions, now is the perfect time to do so. Um, as always, just make sure to prioritize your own finances first and foremost, but now is the perfect time if you're feeling extra generous tonight. Uh, just throw a couple of bits my way, but of course, please don't feel pressured to do so. Okay, let's give Cassandra fun new sword. Um... Armor time. What level am I? 16. Okay, I'm not quite there yet. Uh, that seems better for Sarah, maybe? Yes. Oh, that actually looks quite good on her. Should change it to her colours, though. A bit more. Actually, no, I want to give the better armour to Varric. Just because I... Uh, or Cole, actually. Because I tend to take him out in battle a bit more. Yeah, I'll change the colours a bit. <laughs> Rice and Bean 16, thank you so much for the gifted community sub. Oh, thank you so much. Um, <laughs> Hayden, thank you so much for the 3,000 bits. Well, I guess this is happening. Indeed, this is happening. Thank you so. Oh my god, thank you so much. <laughs> oh. You guys are incredible. Thank you so much, Hayden. Mwah. And Rice and Beans, thank you so much for the second gifted subscription. Oh, it goes to Smart but Uneducated. And the first one went to Rido. Thank you so much for the gifted subs. You're amazing. Mwah. Oh my god, you guys are just incredible tonight. Thank you. Oh my god, you guys. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, I'm trying... I just need to probably dress up my good sweet boy. Okay, that looks... That looks good. My little angry, stabby, sad boy. Guys, you're amazing. Thank you so much. All right, let's sell some needed things <laughs> oh Firaju um I don't have a link to my discord in uh, the chat uh, just because you have to be a Twitch subscriber in order to gain access. But if you look in my about section, uh, there'll be a section that uh, has a, or it has uh, in my FAQ section, um, a section that has a bitly link to uh, how to connect those, um, your discord and your Twitch so that you can join the discord. Oh, that's... that's really weird. Hang on. Um... Mm -mm. Uh, what you guys can do, um... 
for everyone who uh, is having trouble joining the Discord who is uh, a new subscriber, send me a whisper quickly and then I'll try and sort it out after the stream's wrapped up. But we are going to be wrapping things up in just a minute, guys. Um, I'm just going to send people off to go do their homework. And yep, so if you just send me a quick whisper, then I'll uh, send you a link to the Discord. Um, but just for clarification, this is just people who have uh, recently renewed their subscriptions or have received gifted subscriptions. Um, and I will be keeping an eye out uh, on chat, so no sneakiness. It's time to plan our next attack. What's the state of the Inquisition? Our alliance with Orle holds, for the present. Mm. They'll send aid on request. And your actions at Adamant denied Corypheus his army of pet demons. With Orle's support, our numbers match his. Corypheus's followers must be panicking. My agents agree. Our victories have shaken his disciples. We've beaten their god twice over. Corypheus must be livid. Where is he now? After Adamant, Corypheus uprooted his major strongholds and sent them marching south to the Arbor Wilds. His army clearly wasn't prepared to flee. Our victories have them on the defensive. They've terrorized Status long enough. We end them now. If Corypheus is hiding in the Arbor Wilds, that's where we'll go. But what is Corypheus doing in such a remote area? His people have been ransacking Elven ruins since Haven. We believe he seeks more. What he hopes to find, however, continues to elude us. Which should surprise no one. <gasps> Hi. Hey, Morgan. I can assist. You have my attention, Lady Morrigan. What Corypheus seeks in those Forgotten Woods is as ancient as it is dangerous. Which is? His best, if I show you. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna have this moment with Morrigan and then we're gonna be calling it a night, guys. So we have to make time for Morrigan, absolutely. This is an Illuvian, an what? elven artifact from a time long before their empire was lost to human greed. I restored this one at great cost, but another lies within the Arbor Wilds. That is what Corypheus seeks. This belonged to my people. I found legends of an elven temple within the Arbor Wilds, untouched. It proved too dangerous to approach, and thus I turned elsewhere to find my prize. If Corypheus has turned southward, he could succeed where I failed. The Illuvian would be his. What does it do? Oh, shit. A more appropriate question would be, where does it lead? And yes, sorry, um, I think I might have turned my whispers off just so that, because I was getting a few, uh, from, uh, a couple of people. Uh, so yeah, just hang around in the chat after my, uh, stream wraps up and I'll, uh, send you the link. And yeah, Morrigan has that roughness to her voice that is just so, so cool. If this place once had a name, oh. it has long been lost. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so tragic I at the call same it time. The crossroads, a place where all Illuvians join, wherever they might be. This place is extraordinary. How could this even exist? Who can say? Formed from the fabric of time and space, perhaps. The ancient elves left no roads, only ruins hidden in far-flung corners. This is how they traveled between them. As you can see, most of the mirrors are dark, broken, corrupted, or unusable. As for the rest, a few can be opened from this side, but... Only 
of you. This place isn't natural. It almost seems constructed. It's as if someone made a pocket within the Fade with its own rules of reality. If the ancient elves could do this... It seems remarkable that the Magisters of Tevinta could ever challenge them. Yes. It's deteriorating. Eventually, this place will simply collapse on itself. Who can say how old it is? For now, it stands and thus retains its value. Corypheus wants to come... here. This is not the Fade, but it is very close. Someone with enough power could tear down the ancient barrier. And enter the Fade in the flesh, like Corypheus wanted to do with the Anchor. He learned of the Alluvian in the Arbor Wilds as I did. He marshals the last of his forces to reach it. You have made Corypheus desperate, Inquisitor. We must work together to stop him, and soon. Oh, it's so cool, though. I love Morrigan so much. She's so cool. Alrighty, so um, I was going to go back to the war room and uh, see how everyone's doing with their homework, but from what I can remember, the mission I sent Cullen on will take some time to complete, so I think, honestly, it feels like now's a good point to maybe wrap things up for the night. Uh, let's just head back into the main uh, chamber of the throne room. And I think this is a perfect point to save and we will call it a night. But thank you all so very much for joining me tonight at the Blue Rose Respite. I hope you all had a fantastic time. Um, to everyone who is having difficulty uh, joining my Discord, please just hang around in the chat uh, for a little bit longer. Um, and uh, I will send you a link soon. Uh, but thank you all so very much for joining me tonight. If you've been lurking in the shadows and you like what you've seen so far, please consider following. We would love to have you back at the Blue Rose Respite. You are welcome anytime. Be sure to check out my other uh, socials that are in the chat uh, that are popping up now, including my Twitter for important updates and other fun things. Uh, my YouTube for my ASMR tales. I now have a separate YouTube channel uh, that is exclusively for my Twitch VODs, so be sure to uh, subscribe to that channel as well. And uh, my Instagram for lovely pictures and all that. Uh, but thank you all so very much for joining me tonight. Um, I will just wrap up here uh, for the recording, but I will uh, send that link out now, and then I think I'll send you guys on the raid. So thank you all so very much for joining me tonight. I hope you all have a fantastic week ahead. And remember, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and as always, stay wicked and wonderful. Good night, guys. <laughs>